Long G investors get a sigh of relief. Those shares getting a boost this morning, surprising the street with first quarter earnings and profit that are above estimates. Joining us now with more is Karen Ubelhart, a Bloomberg Intelligence senior analyst who covers the industrials. Also with us, Brian Belsky of BMO Capital Markets. Your biggest takeaway, Karen? Uh, you know, I think... Uh People expected a chance of disappointment. Uh, it actually came in a little bit better, again, led by aviation. So, you know, I think people are forgetting about the good businesses. They do have a number of good businesses. They didn't cut. Uh, I think the consensus was they probably wouldn't cut, but they should cut. So that, that's coming, uh, probably, because the uh, consensus is 94 cents. The company's still saying dollar, dollar seven. The last thing I'd say is cash flow. They kept that estimate, and they were very low in the first quarter. Uh, working capital was negative. That's a question to be uh, flushed out in the call. Uh, and they maintained the six to seven billion uh, cash flow for the year. So that seems a little bit of a stretch. But does it mean they're going to have to cut later? And is the market prepped for that now? Or is I, I think that people. This is a sigh of relief because we only get bad news uh, from GE these days. And uh, so I think that this is like a relief rally. Uh, but um, and, and I think people are going to ask them why you didn't cut because they've been emphasizing a dollar. Um, but maybe aerospace will help them more than people expect. Power was worse than expected. And it was all about, in some ways, the big conglomerates. Should they be trimming down, or can they keep uh, their big base? Brian, is the era of a GE that's in a million different businesses over? Is it going to be more about spinning off? Is it going to be more about selling? Or do you want them to keep these businesses big? You know, full disclosure, we own the stock in a, in a value like port. Yeah, I mean, we don't own as much as we did, uh, but from a value perspective, there's different ways you want to run a value portfolio. You, you can run fundamental value, you can own and build in a contrarian value. I think GE is probably one of the best contrarian names out there because, the, as I like to say, the 14-year-old hedge funds have been pounding this stock for uh, two or three months. And now, you know, whether or not this is a relief rally or a short covering, I would think okay. it's probably a combination of that. But again, I, I think most investors um, are missing the fact that industrial stocks in particular should be an overweight, we believe. We're overweight. Uh, and we do think from a, from a stock by stock basis, to answer your question, uh, you can't make a, 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 a big blanket discussion whether or not 3M and all these other companies, Honeywell, UTX should start to peel off their divisions. Maybe it makes sense for GE, maybe it doesn't. But at the end of the day, we're starting to see economic growth and earnings growth start to come back into the company. And the key thing we think from a near term basis looking at the results were the cash flow. Mm -hmm. If the cash flow continues to generate, you know, we, we're, we're in the belief that the dividend is not going to be in jeopardy.